It was July 2011, and I was at a coffee shop. I was drinking a nice, warm cup of tea, while I was searching the web. I later decided to go on YouTube and search for SpongeBob episodes. I saw that one that had a pretty weird title, Goodbye SpongeBob, Lost Episode. I thought he would run away from home, similar to the episode, Whatever Happened to SpongeBob. In this episode, still curious, I clicked the video. The page took 15 minutes to load for some reason. After all of the loading, the episode started with the opening theme. After SpongeBob played his nose like a flute, it went to black for two seconds. Then it cut to the title card. The text was white, and the background was a tombstone. The text read, Goodbye SpongeBob. The episode started with SpongeBob watching Disney with Gary. Then there was a knock in the door. Sandy said she'll go on a family vacation for two weeks. SpongeBob said he'll miss her, gave her a hug and said goodbye. A time card then popped up, reading. 18 hours later. It cut to SpongeBob reading a newspaper in his couch. Then, there is a loud knock in the door. I almost spilled my tea, so I muted the volume a little. Patrick comes through the door urgently with a very depressed face and said that Sandy died in a plane crash due to a drunk pilot. SpongeBob let out his normal laugh. Good one, Patrick. Then Patrick has a serious look in his face, and in a stern voice, he said. It wasn't a joke, she died for real. SpongeBob then started breaking down into tears, and runs to his bedroom. The next day, a time card pops up, and the bubble transition splashes in the screen. It was Sandy's funeral. Patrick's parents, Patrick, Mr. Krabs, Mama Krabs, Gary, Pearl, and SpongeBob were all sobbing. There was only a loud static noise instead of actual tears. Squidward was also there but he wasn't sobbing at all, he was laughing. It cut a shot off Sandy. She was drawn in the same hyper-realistic style as Bart's corpse from the Lost Simpsons episode, Dead Bart. It cut to black for 25 seconds, and it showed SpongeBob at his desk from procrastination. In front of him was a sheet of paper and a pencil, and started writing. He spoke out loud, as he wrote, Without Sandy in my life, I'm nothing. She made me and Patrick what we are today, and I'm thankful for her. But now, with her dead, I just have no purpose in my life. I cannot live without Sandy. If she is dead, then I want to be dead. Goodbye, people. I'm really sorry if I'm hurting anyone for doing this, but I can't just live like this without Sandy. If anyone finds this note, then I'm long gone dead. Goodbye, cruel world. There is no noise after that, except for SpongeBob saying, Farewell. And a realistic tear came out of his eyes. The tear looked like a drop of water was rolling down my laptop screen. It cuts to a rope hanging from the ceiling. SpongeBob brings the noose around his neck, and stands up in a stool. He sighs sadly, and kicks the stool underneath him. His body drops faster than a cleat balloon and he dies instantly. SpongeBob just stays there, and there's no audio at all. It's dead silent. Then, blood is oozing out of his holes, and the blood looked realistic. It was not your normal cartoon blood. Horrifying images started flashing on the screen. At the bottom of each one, it said, R.I.P. SpongeBob. The camera cuts to static, and it cut to the credits. However, it only listed written by Steven Hillenburg, which was the creator of the show himself. I was scared after seeing that. Why would Steven Hillenburg make an episode this disturbing? If you see that episode somewhere, do not watch it, and beware. The video was taken down shortly afterwards because of a copyright claim by Viacom. Thank God.